Well then, oh, it's kind of echoey in here. That's a good thing. You want an echo chamber. Well then, I'd say that's uh, it's pretty uh, pretty aggressive looking, eh? Kind of hard to really get the whole thing in perspective, but uh, echo. Oh yeah, it's loud. <laughs> It's super loud in there. It's it's pretty pretty fucking ridiculous. Uh, horrible camera shot, but you get the idea. We've made it this far. It's um New Year's Day. It's uh 2023. Got the baffles in. Just got done taking a shower, trying to clean up from all that mess. I gotta go in there and in the next couple days and grind and clean all that shit before I throw in those two separate loading walls. Now those still need uh, steel roundovers on them, but those obviously go, well, against this, this baffle and this angle. Gets welded to this pipe, this angle, this baffle, this side, side wall, and then it goes out, I wanna say, right about here. So that's the same for both sides. So that'll give me 21 inches of width a port and then 34 in an eighth comes out to about 715 square inches of port area um very big but uh when you're dealing with like 2100 square inches of cone area well effectively half that because it's a fourth order real realistically but it's uh you need it um it's about 25 25 26 square inches per per cube the box isn't big people think it's huge what well, is but it isn't um it's like, like I said, two to two point four to one ratio, tight sealed space um, for cone control, power handling, uh, better bandwidth, shit like that. Um, I don't build the way most people build, in terms of their fourth orders. Most people, I don't think, have any fucking clue how to properly do something like this. So, one last time for the update. There she is. Anyways, more updates to come later.